Chimpanzees are humans' closest relatives and share nearly all of our DNA. Their bodies are covered with long black hair, but their faces, ears, hands, and feet are bare. They have hands with opposable thumbs that allow them to easily pick up and manipulate objects. They are intelligent and are one of the few species known to use tools. Chimpanzees normally walk on all fours, but occasionally walk upright for short distances. They are typically about 4.5 feet or 1.4 meters tall and weigh 55 to 110 pounds or 25 to 50 kilograms. Chimpanzees are found throughout 21 different countries in Western and Central Africa, where they are known to inhabit a variety of different regions from the tropical, humid rainforests to the drier and more arid regions of the savanna and open woodlands. They are excellent climbers and rely heavily on the surrounding trees not just for protection from predators, but also to find food and places to nest during the night. Chimpanzees live in communities that typically range from around 20 to more than 150 members, but spend most of their time traveling in small, temporary groups consisting of a few individuals, which may consist of any combination of age and sex classes. It was once thought that chimpanzees were exclusively vegetarian. In the early 1960s, a young Dr. Jane Goodall was the first person to document cooperative hunting among our closest living relatives while working in Gombe, Tanzania. She witnessed these wild apes working together to capture large animals for the consumption of their flesh. Her report sent shockwaves around the world, and people began to ponder the implications for our own evolution as humans. Chimpanzees are the only great apes known to engage in organized, communal hunts for larger animals. The creatures they target are usually always mammals. Some of these animals are hunted on the ground, whilst others are hunted in the treetops. Since the very first reports from Gombe, chimpanzee predatory behavior has been recorded at several other sites across the species range. The total list of victims stretches to more than 30 different species and includes several types of monkeys, antelopes, flying squirrels, and tree pangolins. The most popular prey for chimpanzees at Gombe is red colobus monkeys. These monkeys make up to four-fifths of all their quarry, and of those red colobuses caught, about three-quarters are youngsters. The hunting party varies from a single chimpanzee to a few individuals to even more than 30 at a time. On average, 90% of the hunting parties are male chimpanzees, either full-grown or adolescents. Generally, the more individuals there are in a hunting party, the more successful it is likely to be with success rates in the biggest parties topping 90%. Sometimes, the hunters actively target and chase prey, while in other cases they gather around in mass after happening on a victim by chance. Division of labor during the hunt itself has been most studied among the Thai chimpanzees. Once the prey is targeted, it appears that some individual chimpanzees act as drivers to move it in the desired direction, while others are visible blockers cutting off potential escape routes. Along with the drivers and blockers are hidden ambushers and captors who initiate the kill. The complex coordination of hunting roles takes time to learn. Thai chimpanzees start learning at around the age of 10, and it takes as long as an additional 20 years to become experts. Successful hunters typically share some portion of their kill with other group members in response to a variety of begging behaviors. Meat is a favored food item among chimpanzees, but does not make up more than 2% of their overall diet. The chimpanzee has a few natural enemies. The biggest threat that they face is not from large predatory animals, but from humans. Habitat loss, which leads to interference with their reproduction and hunting for their meat, Although illegal, continues to take chimpanzees out of the wild so much so that they are listed as endangered species on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. They cannot defend themselves against human threats, but they can defend themselves quite well against natural enemies. They have been severely affected by the loss of much of their natural habitat, as forests are cleared to make way for agriculture or to cut down the trees as tropical timber. With groups being pushed into smaller and smaller ranges, the competition for food and nesting sites increases, and conflict can occur both between different groups and amongst individuals who reside in the same community. The decision to attack a troop of chimpanzees over territory that may offer an abundance of food depend more on the number of the chimps in the troop rather than the size of the individual chimpanzees. 
Though high up on the food chain, chimpanzees are prey to big cats, such as lions, cheetahs, and leopards, as well as crocodiles and pythons. Chimps will climb tall trees to escape a predator, but if that doesn't work, they can use their extraordinary strength and teeth. As you can see, chimpanzees are extremely strong animals and have amazing qualities. But can they cope in the Amazon rainforest? The Amazon rainforest covers an area of 7 million square kilometers and is the largest rainforest on Earth stretching over nine countries. The Amazon rainforest has extremely high biodiversity and many species have not yet been described. Estimations of the number of plant and animal species vary widely. According to a recent publication by the World Wildlife Fund, the Amazon rainforest contains about 427 mammal species, 1,294 bird species, 378 species of reptiles, 427 species of amphibians, and 3,000 species of fish. These are minimum figures as new species are continuously being discovered. The biodiversity of plant species is the highest on Earth, with one 2001 study finding a quarter square kilometer of Ecuadorian rainforest supports more than 1,100 tree species. To date, an estimated 438,000 species of plants of economical and social interest have been registered in the region, with many more remaining to be discovered or cataloged. Competition for survival is fierce. This may explain why over millions of years of evolution, so many highly adapted species have evolved in this biome. Chimpanzees are incredibly intelligent, but they are also highly adaptable and very, very cunning. You won't find a more aggressive, coordinated, dangerous animal than the male chimpanzee. They are not passive leaf eaters. If you put a troop of those animals in the Amazon rainforest, an environment that has no prior dealings with predators of this caliber, they will not just die off. Yes, there are individual chimps who aren't physiologically cut out for survival in a new landscape, but that's likely to happen regardless of the species you transplant. As for the remaining population, they would likely become highly aggressive, like a group of genetically edited killer bees. Except they aren't genetically edited, but they are free to roam about a habitat that possesses all of the necessary resources and zero competition. They would thrive, but the sloths, tapers, and capybaras they come into contact with won't. Not because the chimps would kill to eat, but because they would be so incredibly hostile as an expanding troop that they would likely drive off all other animals from their established territories. They would ravenously purge all fruit trees of their contents and likely spread some form of an ape pestilence through their diseases and bodily lice. However, part of surviving in a certain habitat is knowing what to eat. Plants and fruits in the Amazon would be completely foreign to chimpanzees. They would probably be able to distinguish fruits and test plants out of curiosity, but then a problem would occur if they were to eat poisonous fruits or plants. Another problem could be the other predators, but all of the predators in the Amazon have comparable counterparts in their home range in Africa. The jaguar's counterpart is, of course, the leopard. The anaconda's counterpart is the rock python and the caimans is the crocodile. In fact, they probably face more predation in Africa. Now that you've heard our opinion, we want to know yours. Do you think chimpanzees could survive in the Amazon rainforest? We are waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time!